Hey there! So, if you've seen my Instagram, you've probably seen my first hand of glory in all its not glory. Now, it's not great, and it's not what I wanted, but it was my first try at sculpting a hand, so let's just call this a practice hand. But as a finished product that would go into Borgen and Burks? No, no, no. I started looking at different versions of the Hand of Glory online, and really fell in love with the ones where the fingers are lit on fire instead of just holding a candle. So not only am I learning to sculpt hands, but I'm also changing the whole design. I looked at a couple hand tutorials online, and they all suggested that I create a little armature for the hand, so that's what I did with my thinnest wire. Once I got the palm flesh on, it started to look like a hand. I'm really glad my first hand sculpt is supposed to be dead looking. I also did all these awesome veins, which I do realize should be popped out instead of in, but I thought it would be better this way to catch the dark washes and look like necrotic veins. Spoiler alert, most of these were too fine and got filled in by the first layer of paint. I think I might need to use different paints? Or a thinner acrylic? Comment below if you have any tips. I was super proud of how desiccated it looked. I've also been watching some doll customizing videos, and sculpting this hand is making me want to sculpt a whole doll. Now for the fingers. I really should have sanded the wire more, or maybe baked some liquid Sculpey on it so the clay would stick better. But this was a learning experience. I'll definitely do it next time if I ever make a more living looking hand. It's coming along well so far. I took my time trying to make sure the flesh between the knuckles was sunken looking, so it looks like the hand was dried before turning into a hand of glory.
so here we are with the before and after sculpt. I'm really pleased with the sculpt. Honestly, time two is leagues better than what I did the first time. I usually like to show you all the colors I'm using, but I really didn't keep track here. I mixed so many colors together trying to get a flesh but dead and maybe jaundiced and definitely necrotic look. I called it quits when the hand and I were both sufficiently covered in weird paints. I tried to paint the veins back on since the sculpting disappeared under layers of color, but I really need to invest in some thinner brushes. Off camera, I made a little platform for it to be mounted to. It was just a circle of clay I painted brown, and I added a pedestal leg later. For the flames, I thought I'd try something different. I've made candle flames before, with translucent clay and some watered down acrylic, but this time I thought it would be cool to make flames out of hot glue. So I made flame shapes on the tip of a wire, then painted them with watered down acrylics and glued those to the fingertips. I probably should have looked at a few more tutorials on how to paint light sources onto things, but I can honestly say I was a little scared to paint more. Maybe you'll see an update video someday with a new paint job. And here it is at the end. I'm pretty happy with how dead it looks. I wish the veins had worked out, but it's okay. As I was working, I also realized that even if I worked really hard on it, only one side would be visible in the nook. So what could I do but make a broken mirror based on the one Sirius gave Harry? Maybe that will be my next video. Anyway, thank you all for watching my progress with dead hand sculpting. Please give it a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.